So I've done my sewing along the edge, quarter inch seam with that quarter inch seam tape over there. We've got half inch tape up here with a bigger uh, lip that creates a um, channel for the thread for the Dyneema slip cord to go through. Walmart sells these sewing kits with the great big huge needles. This one has a, a, a ball point. It's dull and it's got a huge opening. Um, this thread, if you flatten it, it'll go through there and then you can use it to thread itself through there and because the needle's dull, it won't poke through the side of this. So I balled up one of the ends of this with a lighter. To do this, you, you don't want to burn it, you just want to toast it. And um, wetting your finger when you do this is critical and it is dangerous. Don't do this at home, folks. It sizzles whenever you do that. But if you got the stupidity to stick hot napalm on your fingers, you can get nice little balls on there. So they keep the knots from slipping. Um, I'm just tying a double knot or a just an overhand knot and then that's all it takes to hold that. This knot's not secure in this type of line if you're using it to to pull on things. Also in, in the last clip I had one grommet in here. I've added a second grommet and now we're going to turn this inside or right side out. You sew it on the inside and turn everything out so that the seams are on the inside of the bag not getting tore up and snagged on things and it looks pretty. Neat little trick, you can do this with, with this type of material. And that helps pop the corners out. And you just work the corner out with your finger down tight. I'm gonna because of the extra seams in this, because it's scrap material, um, I'm not going to put a waterproof top on it with the Velcro. I have Velcro that I can sew in. Two different kinds of Velcro you can sew in to make a, a waterproof roll top on this. But I'm going to go ahead and seam tape this at a later date whenever I have some more material that comes in the mail. It's, it's way lighter duty than this. This is 1.43 ounces per yard, and this stuff that's coming is 0.51 ounces per yard. And to do that, you simply take the half inch uh, 3M VHB tape, you run a strip down it, peel it off, and then you have another strip of the thin Dyneema fabric, and you lay over this seam, and this seam will be waterproof. Um, or highly water resistant. The bag overall will be highly water resistant. I wouldn't call it waterproof. Um, the draw cord definitely is not a waterproof or even resistant area, but if you put it in your backpack upside down, anything that runs down this will run away from the opening, not in the opening. So that's a neat trick that I've picked up. Um, I don't like the weight in my pack of the uh, little line locks so I just take the loop wrap it around my hand and pull through and tight and it's secure from the inside but not the outside if you want to secure it up a little more you can run that through the loop and leave it like that so if it slips it'll lock up on itself but when you go to open it you can pull it and it'll come undone and you have the bag so there is a right triangle made into a rectangle. Thanks for listening, folks.